tip number 26. If you are new in memory layout, do not place memory chips too close to the processor and too close to each other. I'm going to explain. Yeah. These are memory chips, this is processor, and see how far away the first row of the pins of these memory chips is placed from the pins of the processor. Yeah? There is a lot of space between them, and there is a lot of space between the memory chips. See? It's because how it is routed, and uh, it's because it makes the layout much easier. I'm going to show you how it then looks. See, this is the layer 1, this is the layer 3, and you can very nicely see here are the data routed, these are the command control signals routed, and here are data routed again. And uh, you can see if, uh, if we would place the memory chips too close to each other, there would not be space to route these signals, yeah? So be careful. Also, if you place these memory chips too close to the processor, you may not have enough space to do all these waves. On this layer, it is even more visible, yeah? It would be very difficult. It doesn't mean it's impossible. I will show you a different example. But uh, again, if you are starting with layout, it's much easier. Be careful about the distance, how you place the memory chips and the processor. If you go on this layout, yeah, you can see it can be done. You can place them closer. Here are the memory chips. This is the processor. But then the layout is a little bit more difficult. Like this. I will show you because I I would be interested to see it. <laughs> so <laughs> this is how it looks. Yeah. Data signals. Address command control. Address command control. Data signals. And the bottom layer. The top layer. Nice, no? Don't forget, tip number 26. If you are new in memory layout, do not place memory chips too close to the processor and too close to each other. Why? It may be difficult to route the interface and do length matching. You may need space between the memory chips and between processor and memory chips. Don't forget. <laughs>